What's going on guys? So most of you already know that I currently have the uh, front and rear seats out of my Camaro and I am still waiting on the lightweight racing seats to, to arrive. Once they arrive, I'll install those. While we're waiting for these seats to arrive, they should be here in the next couple days, I'm going to be going through the interior and literally just taking out stuff that is pointless and just adds weight to this car. As you know, these cars already weigh upwards of 4,000 pounds. This car, as it sits, uh, obviously without the stuff removed, last time I was at the track, I actually went on a, um, a scale and it weighed, I think 4120 is what it weighed with me in it. And what I'm hoping to do here is maybe cut a couple hundred pounds from the car so it weighs about 37 to 3800 uh, pounds, which is, which is nowadays a normal sports car weight. I actually have my little handy dandy scale here and what I'm going to be doing uh, in order to keep track of how much this stuff actually weighs, I'm going to weigh it all. And then we're going to, at the end of the video, we're going to add it up to see how much weight we saved. And the cool thing about weight reduction here is when you take all that out of the car, you're gonna make the car faster because obviously it weighs less, so it will go faster. Yes, I can put uh, another 50 to 100 horsepower in and I can just keep adding horsepower and adding horsepower. But that's really not what I'm trying to do here. I'm really trying to achieve the most I can out of the car as it sits. So let's get started. Alrighty, so let's start with the floor mats right now. So I'm going to take all of them out of the car. So we're gonna get, that's the driver's side, take out the passenger side floor mats because we won't need those either. And then we're gonna weigh them. Beer zoo. That was Andy's birthday present receipt. <laughs> Alrighty, so these are pretty, pretty decent weight here. So actually I should weigh myself first since I can't get a good measurement with just those on, what you do is you weigh yourself, figure out your weight, 152.4. We'll just say I weigh 152 pounds, we'll just say that. So now when I hold this stuff, okay, so the carpets plus me weighs 160.8 pounds. So what we do is we subtract that amount from obviously my weight and then we get our weight for how much this is. And so that would be about 8.8 .8 pounds of just carpeting. So like that's almost 10 pounds of just unnecessary carpet. So I also forgot to mention to you guys as well, if you didn't see my previous video when I took the seats out, that was a combination of about 140 pounds that I lost of the car. So obviously when I get the new seats put in though, I'm gonna be gaining more weight, but I just wanna show you guys how much weight you can take out of these cars. So next we're gonna go with the trunk because we got a bunch of stuff in the trunk that really isn't necessary. One of those, well, a couple of those things being, I don't have a spare tire, but this is the thing, the closest thing I have to one, which is basically a emergency, if you get a hole in your tire, you have a flat tire, it basically pumps your tire up. But these things, they ruin your tire pressure sensors in your car too. So if you guys have any of these in your cars, a lot of cars, especially like Camaro or performance car that has really, really big, tires or, or like my car where they'd have to have four spare tires for this car because each tire is rotation specific and each the front and rear wheels are also different so you can't really have one for this car so instead Chevy gives you one of these so we're gonna get rid of it because there's really no use for it. So we also have this um, cover here that goes over your tire repair kit and the battery that's also in the trunk and that's a pretty heavy plastic piece that we don't need. And then we have the rear carpeting in the trunk that um, is pretty light to begin with, but again, we don't need it, so every little bit helps. Now I can also take this plastic stuff out here. So this thing is just really for aesthetic reasons, um, especially like the carpet and stuff like that in here. And obviously you wanna take all this stuff out, it's not gonna deaden the sound as much as it was you know, from the factory, but I don't really care because I like the car being loud. The more I can hear in my car, the better. So so here's one of the plastic pieces I was telling you guys about that really is for aesthetic reasons only. And there's all the little bolt and lug things that go over top of it. We don't need that. There's also more carpeting in here that we don't need, so we can take all of that out. <sighs> Destroying your car. 101 with Guitar and Get ZL1. Jackson. 
You stay out of there. What are you doing? And there's number two. So that is pretty much all of the carpeting and plastic stuff out of the trunk area that is not needed. So yeah, as you guys can see, everything is currently out of the trunk that doesn't need to be there. It's kind of dark, but and then down here, the, the actual battery, obviously that all needs to stay. This is the bracket that holds the battery in place, so we're not going to mess around with that. So let's go weigh everything and see how much weight we saved. Alrighty, so here is all of the carpeting out of the trunk. We're going to weigh that first, and then we'll do the plastic stuff. Alright, so this is 156.6, so that weighs four and a half pounds. So now we have all of the plastic items in the trunk, which is a lot heavier, obviously, than the carpet. And then we also have this tire repair kit. 165.2, so this adds up to about 13 pounds. So next, and the, pretty much the bigger item here is the rear seat belts. And in order to get these out, first I have to remove these plastic panels on the side, which seem to go all the way up to here. The entire piece goes pretty much to the door sill right here where the door jam is. So let's see if we can take these out. And the other thing too is by taking these plastic panels out, um, it's going to make it easier to weld in a 10 point cage once I do get it uh, because they either didn't have to be modified or just completely taken out. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone here, reducing weight and making it easier to put this cage in. Oh, there's plastic panel number one. So let's do this side. Number two is out. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Why the hell am I ripping all this stuff out of my car? And I'll be honest with you, when I was sitting here doing all this stuff, Thought to myself the same thing. <sighs> Alrighty, so real talk with Guitar Mageddon ZL1. So I've owned this car now for almost two years. And when I bought it, I wanted it to be a garage queen. I didn't want to drive it. I wanted to drive it maybe on nice weekends. I wasn't going to do anything to it. It was going to be completely stock. Because at the time, I wasn't sure if they were going to make the ZL1 anymore. And if they didn't, then it would be a more rare car, obviously, if they stopped making it. And then I got my first modification, and I installed a, just a just a regular cold air intake on the on the car. That's all I did. And then from there it went downhill. But it really, I mean, it really wasn't until I installed like my headers and like the Catalyst mid pipes and made the car sound, made the car a lot louder and sound a lot more muscular. And then it was just from there. It was just once you get hooked into that. That more power, more this, faster, you, you just can't get out of it. And those of you guys that are thinking about doing modifications to your car, obviously I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be like, yeah, you get a cold air intake, two years from now you're gonna be ripping your car apart like me. No, I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen, but you're gonna see somebody with a faster car, you're gonna see somebody with more power, and you're gonna wanna have more than them, obviously. But I can tell you guys right now that there's always someone faster and there's always somebody with more horsepower no matter how hard you try it's just like that old saying there's always a bigger fish and it's true but um if it's what you like to do then go for it i mean it's it's i don't it's kind of a combination with me it's like i want the car to be faster but i also enjoy doing it and uh this car went from literally like i said a weekend driver to being like a race car and that's exactly what's going on right now so um, it's kind of hard for me to do this, I'm not going to lie, but in the ultimate end, it's once I see the car finished and what the potential of the car would be, I think I'm going to be a lot, uh, a lot happier, you know. It's just like that sense of um, accomplishment, you know, you have a car that's completely stock and just completely from the factory and you take it and you make it this racing machine and um, the end result is is what it will make you happy, you know. So keep working on your cars and keep doing whatever you guys want to do. Um, obviously, I don't discourage you from doing any of that. So, to answer you guys' question, a lot of you guys were asking me that. A lot of you guys were like, "Oh my God, you're ripping a car you're apart. You're ripping a beauty that beautiful car apart." Well, the Camaro has never been a very showy, like, custom hand built, like, garage queen. You know, it's never been that type of a car. Never. 
Now, the muscle cars of the old days, they were great cars, and people do do them to that, but that's a different thing. Those are classic cars. They're going to be worth money. This car here, this ZL1 that I'm sitting in right now, really isn't going to be worth anything more than what the, the, the Kelly Blue Book value says it is. It's not going to be a collector's item, you know. They made too many of them for them to be collector's items. And other comments I heard from some people, like, why don't you wrap this car, you know? Why don't you do things like that? And why don't you get new wheels? And it's like, that's not my thing. It never was my thing. I wasn't about the, the, the all show stuff. Like, it's not me. If you noticed, the couple things I've done to this car was literally black out the bow ties and black out the one in the ZL1 logos on my car. That's, that's it. There's nothing else that I did to this car to make it look cooler. Because I thought the car looked cool as it was. All of my money, all of my work is in that engine bay and will be inside this car to make it faster. But ultimately, I'm doing this because this is what I want to do. And I want to make this car a race car. I want to put a cage in it. I want to do all of this stuff to it. Because now that I'm getting the new ZL1, that can be the car that, you know, does stay nice. That I do keep in the garage. That I, you know, don't beat on, like, you know, down the drag strip and beat on down the track and, like, rip shit apart. And I don't want to do that to the new one. That's why I have this car to do it to. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this car. And hopefully it'll turn out good. Anyways, let's go weigh this stuff that we just took out. All right, so we've got left and right rear panels and the little carpet piece from the trunk. Let's weigh it. 161, so that weighs nine pounds. Alrighty, so now we're gonna take these rear seat belts out and we gotta figure out which size socket this is. Oh my God, are those tools? No, they're not. I don't use tools, everybody knows that. Jackson, you want a minute help, huh? No, you stay there. It's the closest you ever got to the inside of this car, huh? Maybe I'll let you go for a ride once I get it all done, because I'm not too concerned about what it looks like in here anymore, obviously. All right, that's a big ass bolt for that seat belt. Well, very safe and sorry. Alright, bolt number two. <laughs> Once I remove that, I can take this piece out and we can get the seat belts out. Bingo. Seat belts out. Anybody want them? Seat belts for sale? Rear seat belts. Now this needs to go back down here. Like that. There we go. Now, let's do the other side. Good thing is I know how to do it, so it shouldn't take me as long. Second seatbelt out. Place this stuff now. There we go. All right, so rear seat belts are out. Let's see how much they weigh. So they weigh about three and a half pounds. So here is everything that I just took out of my car. I know it seems like a lot of stuff, but um, in the grand scheme of things, it's a decent amount of weight for what it is. We got, the first thing we took out were the front and rear carpet squares. They were 8.8 .8 pounds. We'll just call it nine pounds. The trunk carpeting, plastic, and tire repair kit weighed 17 and a half pounds. Then the rear seat plastic side panels, and they were nine pounds for both of them, these big things here. And then we also took out the last thing, which was the rear seat belts. So all this stuff you're looking at right here weighs about 39 pounds, so we'll just call it 40 pounds. And if we add in the seats that I took out, which weigh 140 pounds, you get a grand total of 180 pounds that I now took out of the car. And like I said before in the video, all this stuff you're looking at right here is completely unnecessary. It's all plastic, carpeting, just aesthetic stuff to make the car look better and to hide all the wires and stuff like that. So this is really unusable. There's no point to it, other than obviously some of it dead in sound and things like that, but I don't need it. Alrighty, so that about does it for all of the weight reduction at this point. And uh, before I end the video here, I wanted to also say I have a piece of this flooring right here 
for sale. Um, it is basically a six by 12 foot um, section of this checkered vinyl flooring you see here. And that will fit pretty much any six by 12 trailer. So if any of you guys have a six by 12 trailer that you want a little vinyl flooring, maybe you've got a motorcycle or some sort of a trailer like that, It'll fit perfectly in there. So let me know, comment below, message me, whatever you gotta do. But other than that, I'm pretty happy that we got all the weight out of the car that we did. Um, obviously, it looks like a lot, but and to, to some of you guys, it's like, well, it's, that's nothing. I'd have kept all that in there. And yeah, I mean, that's true. It isn't really a lot of weight. But once I start taking more stuff out, you know, every little bit helps, especially the fact that I'm gonna put a cage in. Now the cage that I'm gonna be putting in this car is gonna be a lightweight chromoly cage as opposed to like a mild steel cage, which weigh a lot more. So that is gonna save me weight in turn because it's gonna be a 10 point roll cage because I need to have a 10 point to run the times that this car will be running. So the point of it is not to add weight. Like I don't wanna add weight. If anything, I wanna take out weight because I'm gonna be adding more safety features which create weight. So to get all the unnecessary stuff out, it kind of balances itself out. Some other things too that it's gonna save me weight eventually in the future is a drag setup. Obviously the wheels, the stock wheels in this car are very wide and, and they weigh a lot. They're 20 inch wheels. So when I go down to like a 17 in front and back with a thicker tire and lightweight wheels, especially up front when you get skinnies, the wheels are only gonna be about four and a half inches wide as opposed to 10 in the front. It's gonna be a lot lighter. So once we do that, we're gonna save a lot of weight in the front because I've been taking out a lot of weight in the back of the section of the car. So you kind of want to balance everything out. And the seats are actually on their way, as well as the harnesses, the seat mounts, all that stuff is gonna be, hopefully it'll be here this week. So I'll have a chance to put that in and you guys will see that in the next video on this car. And then after we get the seats put in, I can go and drive it up to Andy's and uh, there's a guy with a shop right next door to Andy that does fabrication and he's gonna be welding in the cage and also be able to put in the harnesses for the seats. But until then, the car's pretty much just gonna sit here and wait for, uh, wait for the seats instead of driving in the snow. So once this car is finished, you guys will be able to come see it at Motorama, which is gonna be February 18th and 19th at the Harrisburg Farm Show Complex. You can look that up. Go to MotoramaEvents.com, I believe it is. I'm gonna be doing a little meet and greet there, and I'll have some stuff available for you guys to buy as far as stickers and stuff like that goes concerned. And I'll be there both days, all day, so come say hi, and then you can see the car finally in person when it's pretty much done and ready and ready for the drag strip in the, in the springtime. Um, I'm talking to a few companies right now and um, hoping to have everything ready by, by Motorama. I might, I might not, but hopefully everything comes together before then. So that about does it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. If you want to send anything to me, my PO box, and I will feature you on this garage wall with everybody else's stuff. Please be sure to follow all of my social media, which will be in the description, as well as all of my PO box info. Hit that subscribe button, and have a great day.